In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your Instagram feed on your WordPress website by using Elementor. Now it will look like this. I'll show you on the screen right now what it looks like. And it's also completely free. So if you're interested in adding your Instagram on your website, this is going to be a great video for you because I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just get started. So you want to sign into your WordPress account. Then you want to go to plugins and then click add new because we do actually need a free plugin to do this. Now you want to click search and then you want to search for HT mega or HT add ons. Let's see if it actually shows up HT mega just like that. And then we should actually see that, Yeah, there we go. So this is the one that you need to install. Click install now. Of course, that might take a few seconds or minutes, I don't know. But after this is done installing, you want to click on activate. I'll just show you once this is done installing. There we go. Then we click on activate and then we've just activated this plugin. And this is what we need in order to add our Instagram feed. Now, if you scroll down here, you should see general. If you then go to elements, you'll find all of the features that are available with this plugin. First of all, you want to find Instagram. Let's see if we can find that. There are a lot of them. So what I'll do is I'll simply click on find. I'll type in Instagram, of course. And I, there we go. It's right there. So this is already enabled, which is great. So you want to make sure that this is turned blue, that this is actually enabled. Now next up, you want to go to your website or wherever you want to add this. So I'm going to go to my website or I'll just create a new page. We'll just go with a new page for now. But you can, of course, go with a, a page that already exists or your entire website if you want to put it at your homepage. So we'll go with um, Instagram. Let me publish this real quick and then we're going to click on edit with Elementor. So you also want to install Elementor in case you don't have it yet. But I assume that a lot of you already have it. Um, I also put it in the title of this video. So I assume that most of you will be using Elementor. But let's go into the page and then from now on, it's actually going to be pretty simple. But I'm going to show you how you can let me go back. That's weird. All right. One sec. I'm going to fix this and then I'll get back to you guys. All right. So this is the demo page that I just created. Now, let's say that you want to add your Instagram feed on this section. First of all, I'm just going to select a structure. Then what you can do, simply select this section, click on the business tools right here. Then if you search for Instagram, it will show up and you'll see HD in the top right corner, which is of course HD mega. You want to select this and drag it on here wherever you want to place it just like that. And you'll then see the Instagram feed showing up. Now, what you need to do first is, of course, link your own Instagram. So what you can do is right there, Instagram username. So, for example, if I go with my username, which is this, I only have one like one post that I just put up. So let me remove that. Let's see if it works. Yes, there we go. So I just posted this random picture for the sake of this tutorial. But if you put in a username that will indeed show up. So, for example, if I had Cristiano right here, you find all of his posts. So simply put in your Instagram username right here and you'll be good to go. Now, I, I want you to know that, of course, you need to be public in order for this to work. But you can also choose a few different styles. So we've got style one, style two, style three and four. So just play with them and see which one you like. So kind of like this one. Now, what you can then also do is go with a uh, with an item limit. So you can put uh, multiple posts on here. Let's say you want 15 posts to show up, you put in 15 and then the most recent 15 posts will show up on here. Let's say you only want six of them, you you, uh, you type in six and then only six will show up or maybe four, just like that. You'll then get to see that. Now you can also change the amount of posts in every column. So maybe you can enter six and then if you do 12, you have two rows, two columns, right? Yes, there we go. So you can play around with this to see on um, what fits best on your website and you can pretty much customize all of it. You can also change the zoom icon, the common icon, because as you can see right there, you can then see that icon right there. So you can change that as well. And that's pretty much how you can do this. So if you go to style, you can play, you can also play around with the margins. You can add a background if you want to. So you can add a gradient background. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. And then you can do another color and it will become gradient. 
Um, so yeah, you can do a lot of different stuff on here, guys. And you can customize all of it as well by simply using all of these settings on here. But right now, I've just added my Instagram feed on the website. If you click update, we'll just preview it real quick. Um, there we go. And then we'll see what it looks like. And this is what it currently looks like. Now, like I said, you can customize all of it, but this is how it works. So this is how you can add your Instagram feed on your WordPress, uh, WordPress website by using Elementor for free and also HD Mega. So if this simple video helps you out, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on this video. I would appreciate that. And then I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.